Robin Hood and his legendary wife, Maid Marian, began as separate folkloric entities and were strongly associated with May Day customs. May Day itself has pagan origins and centres around abundance and vegetation as the start of the summer, with the Beltane festival seen as a fire blessing of cattle and other livestock. This in turn had similarities to the Roman festival of Floralia, a celebration of the goddess of flowers, and Mayuma, which hailed Dionysus and Aphrodite. This highlights that these ceremonies and rituals, such as the Queen of the May and dancing around the clearly phallic maypole, have echoes of fertility rites that are truly ancient and inextricably wedded to nature. There are many tellings, retellings and embellishments of the Robin legend, but his woodland dwelling after a fall from grace of some kind mirrors the tale of Merlin, or Myrdin Wilt, and his retreat to the forest. The Vita Malini, or Life of Merlin, strongly thought to have been penned by Geoffrey of Monmouth in around 1150, details how this occurred. His hermit-like existence in the wilderness was as a result of what we might now call post-traumatic stress disorder, where he struggled to come to terms with a brutal battle. This conflict has been suggested to have been the Battle of Afterith, where the King of Alt Clut, otherwise known as Strathclyde, inflicted a crushing defeat on the forces of Gwendolo. Myrdin was said to have been driven mad after witnessing the slaughter, which, according to the Annals of Wales, took place in the year 573 AD. Whether this tale contributed to the Robin Hood legend is not certain, but the parallels are there. Whatever the connection, or lack thereof, happy May Day to all. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And thank you for watching.